Well, hi folks, I'm not sure this is going to work for sure. My goal is to make some aluminum heat transfer plates for uh, PEX in-floor heating for up against uh, the subfloor within the joists. Uh, here you can see a completed one that uh, fits somewhat in the groove. It's uh, fairly close to where it needs to be. I think with some staples it'll hold fine. Uh, this is a uh, standard 16-inch uh, wide vented soffit. Uh, here you've got a, a piece that has not been completed yet. And you can see there's a little gap. It doesn't sit very low. The other side, uh, the completed one, we're, we're getting pretty close. I'll show you briefly uh, what I'm using. This is an A-frame press that I built for uh, not only pressing uh, bushings and bearings and such, uh, but also with the long ram uh, for hard apple cider, and you can see that video as well. So I'll see if I can't show you how this works. Here's a 5 8 rod attached to a piece of 4x4 four four and uh, presses down into a a plywood groove, two pieces of plywood about three quarters of an inch apart. Like I said, that's a 5A shaft. I just screwed it up in there, countersunk the screws in a few spots, and this lines up with some with some hinges so that it comes down in the in the right place every time. So I'll grab a sheet here. process. Align the groove. I can do it on the far side. Bring her down. Turn on the pump here. And we'll start the press. Got a groove. The, uh, the very ends uh, don't go quite as well, but it's soft enough that you can form that by hand. So there it is. I'll continue my process. Good luck.